here we are in the QBO gym. And the QBO gym is a place where we have numerous hands-on exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Each month covers a variety of new topics and scenarios. And to make it a little bit easier for you, we break it down into four different sections. So if you're looking to work on your bookkeeping skills, this is the place for you. And if you wanna do a couple of these on your own and take a little bit more of a deep dive, be sure to join our free five day bookkeeping challenge. All you have to do is just click on the link in the description after we go through the exercise. But let's get started. Our exercise today comes from our April year one strength training section where we really focus on those billable charges. At the top here is an animated video to give you an understanding of what you, the bookkeeper, will be doing for your client, Craig, this month. Below that is an exercise, or excuse me, an interactive quiz um, that relates to the video up above. Below that are all of the exercises in this section. And at the bottom here, after you have gone through all of the exercises in this section, you will have unlocked some marketing prompts that you can use on your LinkedIn to share with everybody what you have learned so far. So let's dive into today's exercise where, where we are going to be practicing collecting charges. This is part two or week two of it. If you click on the link here, the exercise will pull up. I have have it over here on the right side of my screen. So let's read through the scenario. Red Rock Diner called because they are still experiencing a pest problem. Craig agreed to credit their account for last week's service and reapply again this week free of charge. Also, Duke's basketball camp is gearing up for their spring season and they needed some tree and shrub trimming. Craig spent about three hours working on this, plus Dukes needed 10 bags of soil, which Craig will be charging them for. Now you will need to be in the same session of the sample company that you did the previous exercise in. If you have not completed that one yet, go ahead and click on the link on the top right corner of your screen. That'll take you to that one, complete that one, and then come back to this one. All of the exercises in this section build on each other, so you have to start with that first one. I have the sample company here um, on the left side of my screen. This is the last page that we left off of from the previous exercise. But let's go ahead and get started and first work on that Red Rock Diner credit. So we're going to click on the plus new button and then select delayed credit. So the plus new button is on the top left corner of the screen. Click on that. And then under customers, you're going to select delayed credit. Now let's go ahead and start filling it out. In the customer field, we're going to select Red Rock Diner. So go ahead and click into that box. You can either start typing or you can scroll to find them. Once you do, go ahead and click on it. We are going to leave this uh, date as is. It just defaults to today uh, just for the purposes of this exercise. But of course, in real life, you wanna make sure that it matches the delayed, uh, the actual day of the credit. So um, in the, on the first line in the product service field, we're going to select pest control because this is what it was credited from last week. So click into that box. You can go ahead and either type pest control or you can um, scroll to find it. Once you do, go ahead and click on it. All of the information is going to appear for us. And now we're going to click on the down arrow next to save and new and then select save and close. So the down arrow right here, go ahead and click on that and then click on save and close. And that delayed credit has been saved for us. But now we're going to work on entering all of the charges. So we're gonna click on the plus new button and then select delayed charge. So click that plus new button once again, and this time under customers, select delayed charge. Let's go ahead and fill it out for all of the customers this week. The first one is cool cars. So go ahead and click on that uh, link or that um, click into that field. Um, you can either click on it or type it. It's the third one down, so it should be easy to just click on. Once again, we're gonna leave that delayed charge date as is because we are just going to do that for the purposes of this exercise. But of course, in real life, make sure that it matches the date of the actual service. 
Now notice that QBO automatically inserts the information from the last time you created a delayed charge. This is a setting that you could turn off in the accountant settings, but it can save you a lot of time to have it on, especially if there's gonna be a lot of delayed charges for the same kind of service. Um, this is a really great option to have on. So because it's already done and filled out for us, we are going to go ahead and do the next one. So um, since we have more to enter, we're gonna click on the down arrow next to save and close and then select save anew. So that is down here, click that down arrow, click save anew, and that delayed charge has been saved and now we have this new one to fill out. So Duke's Basketball Camp, we're going to, in the customer field, select their name. So click the down arrow in the customer field, select Duke's Basketball Camp. And once again, you will see the information has automatically been inserted for us. But if you remember, um, the this week, you'll need to add those additional charges because they need that tree and shrub trimming. So on the second line in the product service field, we want to select trimming. So click into that box. You can either do the drop down and scroll down to find it, um, or you can type it in. Once you find it, go ahead and click on it. And Craig spent three hours doing this. So in the quantity field, we need to update this to three. So delete that one, type a three. When you hit the tab key, you will see that QBO automatically makes the calculation for us and has done all the math, which makes it a lot easier. He also, you had some soil. So on the third line in the product service field, we're going to select soil. So click that into that box. You can once again, either scroll down to find it or you can type it in. Once you do, go ahead and click on it. Now he used 10 bags of soil. So we want to type 10 in the quantity field. Uh, hit the tab key over. It has been calculated for us. And that is everything that we need to fill out for Duke's basketball camp. So let's move on to the next one with Jeff's jalopies. We're going to click on save and new once again down here on the bottom right corner. And that delayed charge has been saved. And let's fill out this one for Jeff's jalopies. So we're going to click in this one and uh, click into the customer field. You can type his name or you can scroll to find it. Either way is fine. And once again, as soon as you select his name, you will notice that QBO automatically inserts the information from the last time we created the delay charge. However, this week he didn't get any pest control service, so we need to remove that. To do so, we're just going to click on the trash can icon right here on this pest control services line. When you do, it will be removed for us, and now we are only showing that gardening service. So we're all done with this one for Jeff. We're just going to click on save and new because we have two more to enter. Go ahead and click on the green save a new button and that delayed charge has been saved and let's move on to the next one. So Red Rock Diner in the customer field, let's select their name. Um, you can click into it and either start typing or scroll to find it. Once you do, go ahead and select it. And once again, you will notice that QBO automatically is putting in the information from the last time we created the delayed charge. Although Craig agreed to do the second pest control application free of charge, you will still want to keep the information as historical record. So in the description field next to pest control services, we just want to add a little information that says additional application free of charge. So go ahead and click into that description field, type a dash and then additional, if I can spell it correctly, additional application free of charge. So additional application free of charge. And then in the rate field, we want to type zero. So click into that rate field, type zero. When you hit the tab key over, it will, um, it'll update it here um, for us. And so this one is all done. We just have that one final delayed charge to make. So go ahead and click on the save and new button. And now let's go ahead and fill it out for Wisecough Consulting. So in the customer field, let's go ahead and select their name. If you click the down arrow and scroll all the way to the bottom of that list, they are the last one there. So go ahead and click on them. 
And then you will see once again that QBO is automatically inserting the information from the last time that we did this delayed charge. We are not gonna add anything, so this is all good to go. All we need to do is just click on Save and Close. So click the down arrow next to Save and New, select Save and Close. And that's it. We have now entered week two of our delayed charges. Now, if you like this exercise and you'd like to do more like it, be sure to join our free five day challenge. All you need to do is just click on the link in the description. If you'd like to move on to the next exercise in the strength training section, be sure to leave this session of the sample company open as you will need it as we enter the week three delayed charges. And I will see you in the next video.